90% of the professional athletes are going to be professional athletes with or without drugs just because of genetics and skills. Okay? Maybe at the very most 20% are there because they actually worked hard. Okay? Um, how many pro football players do you see there are five, six? You know, so when you're dealing with kids and they, they say they want to be pro football players or whatever it's going to be, the last thing I ever think that you can do to a kid is destroy their dream. All right, they have thousands of people, not thousands, hundreds of people in their own network destroying their dream every day. You know, people tell them, well, you need to focus on your studies, which isn't a bad thing. All right, but if they want to be a pro football player, I'm going to tell them, you know what? Fuck yeah. Go for it. Because how do I know what that guy's genetic structure is? It's seven years old. You know, hell, he could change his mind. You know, so I, be, I, play, I play games with people all the time. I play with kids all the time. It's like, man, come here. I like grabbing his calves. Man, that's unbelievable, you know? Grabbing his legs. You know what? I've been around a lot of pro players, man. You have the physical structure to just kill it if you work hard, you know, and, and put everything into it. Now they're walking away like, holy crap, you know, this guy really knows his stuff. Maybe I can do this. Because everybody else around them saying, well, you know, you need to be realistic, you know, you might not make your team, and all this other kind of bull crap. Um, the late matures are the ones that generally are going to end up at the higher level. So the kids that aren't making the team in junior high, they're going to be, if they stay, the best in high school. The only pe reason the people that are playing in junior high is because they mature after. All right, what generally happens, and the takeaway is, the kids that aren't playing, that are sitting on the bench, usually what the coaches do is, well, just go over there and you know, hit the bag. Go over there, you know, push the sled. Go over there and work on your drills. They're doing skill, 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 skill. And then the coaches are taking the, the more mature athlete who's stronger and faster and saying, hey, let's run this play, let's run this play, let's run this play. Well, that works really good until those kids over there mature. And now they're just as strong and just as fast, but they got one other thing, skills. That's why you see the great junior high player never even play in high school. You know, they're the ones smoking crack on the corner, you know, because they got blown away. And people will say, man, I don't know what happened to him. He was awesome when he was younger. Well, what happened is he never had the skill development. Human potential is a lot higher than what we think it is with drugs, without drugs, okay? Much higher, it's always been higher. I've seen people lift weights and powerlifting that I thought were on drugs and would argue it, you know, with some of the other people, like this guy's totally full of shit. There's no way he's drug free. You know, until the guy would come up to me and say, you know what, I think I'm gonna start taking drugs now. But then he does, and his total goes up 400 pounds. Like, holy shit, he did that drug free? totally changed my philosophy on what the actual human potential is. The human potential is limited by the, the human mind. And it takes a very, very, very strong, rare, special person to break the barrier. Drugs have been a part of sports since the 60s. That's not ever going to go away. You know, whenever you're dealing with a competitive mindset and people who, I, I call it being locked in, people who get locked into a vision, all right, that's it, man. That's their drive. That's their passion. Critics don't matter. This don't matter. They're going to do whatever it fucking takes to be the best at what they do. Okay? Most people in society will never understand that because they've never had passion about anything. Okay? People who have had passion about things and worked their ass off for it will totally get it. Uh, are they pushing it because of the drugs? No. They're pushing it because of who they are. Drugs are just one of the tools.